I'm Mike with Hunt Fish Shoot, and this is the Tika T3X TAC A1. If you like what you're seeing, like the channel, like the page, like the video, subscribe, comment, and tell us what you think. Guys, we're back out here with Hunt Fish Shoot, and today we have the Tika T3X TAC A1. This is a chassis style rifle. Uh, it is a 6.5 Creedmoor. On this rifle, you're gonna get a 24 inch barrel. Uh, the 24 inch barrel on this is a one and eight twist. And then on here, I have mounted a Mayopta, Optica 6. This is a four and a half to 27 power with a 50 millimeter objective. Uh, this one is in MOA for me with a BDC reticle. Uh, it is also illuminated. It comes with a nice uh, throw lever on it that you can actually adjust to where you want it. And then with this Tika T3X, uh, it's got a M-Lock style rail on the front here, uh, AR type um, grip, and then a folding stock. The folding stock on this T3X, there's TAC A1 is awesome. I mean, it's got absolutely no wobble whatsoever in it. And then it, it's really got a nice positive click whether you're closing it. So when you close it, and then obviously also too, when you snap it back together, which it is stiff, but that's a good thing. Cause like I said, there's no slop in this thing whatsoever. It's the type of stock that is adjustable uh, with your cheek weld and you can always adjust the cant. You can add spacers in it as well. QD mount or QD swivels on there. The M lock, it came with HK style, uh, quick detach or hook and loop. And it's also got a QD type that you could add on there that it came with. It comes with two 10 round magazines. Uh, they are really nice magazines. They're proprietary. They only work for Tika. They're not AICS um, and they're not PMAG type, but they work very well. They're really high end, high quality magazines. You get two uh, from Tika. You can order a third magazine that you can actually get for free when you buy the rifle. You just got to register it. The rail system on here, Picatinny all the way across. It's not seamless, but it's pretty darn close. It is a zero MOA rail here on the top. So with my Opta, I opted to put a Badger Ordnance 20 MOA um, cantilever type mount on there. And the reason I did that is because with that zero MOA, I wanted to be able to get as much um, MOA or measurements as I can out of it so I can shoot that long range. Cause this, this rifle is built for long range all day, every day. It is a sweet rifle. It does come with a threaded barrel on it. It came with just a muzzle, uh, the cap, but with me, it also came with this. Uh, the muzzle brake that the Tika comes with on that muzzle brake is really nice. It's a tanker style, three chamber, and you just tighten it on there. And then it's got a, a, like a set screw to keep it in place so you can time it properly. Nice and easy, but it is very effective. I have sighted this in and it's an absolute tack driver, guys. So when I shoot this for you today, you are going to see the groups of this shoots. It shoots well below 7MOA all day, every day. Uh, my primary ammo of choice for me is always gonna be Hornady. I just, I'm a Hornady guy and that's just the way I am. Um, and it, it shoots great. There's no reason to switch. So I'm shooting the pro match out of this. And with that though, the Tika actions, they are buttery smooth. They're Teflon coated. So with that Teflon coat, it is a really smooth bolt. There's absolutely, there's no slop in it. It slides nice and easy. For a factory built rifle, I don't think you'll get a smoother bolt. Um, it's nicer than bolts on guns that are custom. And it, for a rifle like this, it's awesome. And a rifle at the end of the day that generally is gonna run you about $1,500, $1,800. So that's a really, you're getting a lot of value in that for that amount of money. And the bolt on this thing is, is probably the, the finest part of it. It's got a really good trigger. It's a two stage trigger. Uh, it, it seems to be somewhere around the three pound range, three to four pound range. And I like it a lot. It, it's, it feels good. But overall, everything that feels good on here, the only downfall, when I look at this rifle, I hold it, I don't really care much for the grip that it comes with. It's not a bad grip. It works out just fine when you're shooting, you know, whether you want to shoot thumb wrap around, thumb on the shelf up here, it works really well. But aside from that, I can't think of any negatives when I shoot this. Uh, the Picatinny rail and the M-Lock makes it nice. You can mount your, your bipod wherever you want. And on this one, the bipod I got is a G, G, and G. Uh, really nice QD bipod. I can take it on and off, switch it to my other rifles, and kind of saves me from having a $300 bipod and having several of them. So I can just take this, put it on any Picatinny rail attachment on a different rifle, AR platform, whatever it might be, and do the job. 
So today, guys, like I said, we're going to shoot it out there. I'll show you the types of groups that it'll shoot. I've got my ELD match, 140 grain pro match ammo from Hornady. I got Precision Hunter, and then I got some cheap American Whitetail. Um, the American Whitetail shoots 7 away with this rifle. It's actually why I used to sight it in, just so I didn't you know, end up wasting money or anything like that. But it shoots so good. You guys are going to love it. So I will shoot it, I will show you guys, and I will tell you what you, what you think. And as always with Hunt Fish Shoot, you are gonna get our honest opinion of it. So if you like what you see, like it, subscribe to the channel, and follow along with this video review. About two inches high. Right next to the other one. That shit is wild standing up here. Yeah, that heat today, that mirage effect is wild. Yeah. That's a little better. All right. All right, guys, we're going to walk out here now and check the target. With that, I just shot eight rounds, uh, the Hornady ELD Pro Match 140 grain ammo. Uh, it probably wasn't going to be my best group I've ever shot. I can tell you right now it wasn't going to be, but it was looking pretty good on the paper. So let's hope the Tika made me look a little better than I shot that time. Um, the biggest thing is that I was calling those shots practically as I was shooting them. If I do, it was going to shoot high. It was shooting high the whole time. So probably on this 100 yard zero, I'm going to come down a little bit. I had me, it looked like about almost two, three MOA above what I wanted at. Uh, so we'll come down a little bit on this scope. That Mayopta, Optica 6, and 4.5 and to 27 is some extremely clear glass. That scope, I picked it up for somewhere around 750 bucks. A lot of times to get a scope with the clarity of glass that you're going to see with that, you're not finding nothing in that $750 range. I've seen the Vortex, the PST Gen 2s, or the Viper, and man, is that scope lights out. It is awesome. Today, though, it's hot. Uh, it's like 92 degrees, so the mirage effect I'm getting on that target is wild. I mean, it's probably some of the worst I've seen. In, in Ohio, 92 degrees is, is pretty darn hot. So we'll run down here, take a look at the target, and see what we got. So as I told you guys before, when I was back there, I could tell you it wasn't gonna be the best group ever. Uh, my first three shot group was actually this one right here you're gonna see, and then I counted those two, which those are good, and then this was my last three I shot. Um, so it is shooting, you know, your sub MOA. away. It, it shoots better than that, because I've shot it enough times now. But that's me up here, a little bit, of, like I said, the shaky, the mirage effect. I mean, when I'm back there, really, that target, it, it's wild today how bad it is, you know, but it is what it is. I mean, overall, that gun, I mean, it shoots, that trigger on it is so smooth and has such a nice crisp break on it that you're not always gonna get that out of a factory trigger. And for the money, I, in a chassis style rifle, I've used the Bergara BMP. Um, I've shot some other ones, your, your uh, Ruger Precision Rifle, and also the, um, what's the other one I got out there? The Remington one, they got the cheaper one. and that Tika is light years above all those. And, and all of them are honestly close to the same price. So what you're getting with that Tika is an awesome value. So we're gonna shoot it some more. But in this next one, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shoot you guys a three shot group with your Pro Match, Precision Hunter, and American Whitetail. Um, so I'll show you how it shoots on each one of those and, and hopefully I can clean it up because that looks like hell. With our Mayopta Optica 6, this four and a half 27, uh, first focal plane scope and MOA. Uh, on there, I was about three MOA high. So I'm gonna come down two MOA on this. Uh, with this, it is quarter MOA that has locking turrets with a resettable zero. So these, this scope, the value is incredible. And these, 
Turrets are so tactile. So we're gonna come down on this, guys, like I said, and uh, we'll fix this a little bit. And also what's awesome about this scope is that the hash marks for each one of your MOA measurements is dead on. Like they're, they're it just, it's incredible. I mean, I just don't think there's a better scope for the money. It's just, it's awesome. You can push it back down, lock it in place, and we'll shoot these, uh, like I said, we're shooting a three-shot group of our American Whitetail, Horny Precision Hunter, and then some more of the Pro Match. So we'll see how these shoot, and uh, we'll show you guys when we're done with this. So first up, we're going to do the Hornady Pro Match, three-shot group. I'm going to do my best here to shoot a little better than I did last time. Sweet Jesus. Ready? Yeah. We're just going to sand it. That throw lever on this Optica 6 that comes with it is just awesome. Makes it so nice. There we go. <laughs> All right, you guys saw I probably just did four shots on that. Uh, it was because the one was a flyer, and I wanted to give you guys a fair shake of how this rifle shoots. So now we're gonna do the Hornady Precision Hunter, 143 grain, ELDX. Guys, I want to show you something. Uh, I saw a lot of reviews, even other people showing on YouTube, that you can't hit the magazine release while you're laying down with your grip without breaking it. I'm going to show you. Watch. Oh, you see that? See what happens when you got big boy hands? You just put your mag in there. We'll do it again. Oh, look at that. And even better, guys, this is, this is good. Your thumb over on the shelf. Woo! How about that? So that's just to dispel the myth that you can't hit that magazine release without breaking your grip. It's, I mean, it's, it could be easier and they drop so nice and free and this Tika, I, I can't think of anything negative to say about it, to be honest. I mean, anybody that could really, they're just being nitpicky. So we'll go out here, check out the target, see what it looks like. All right. So like I said, guys, um, I shot like crap or like hell on that one. So I'll show you here. This is your Hornady ELD Pro Match. Uh, I mean, that, that group speaks for itself. This is your Hornady Precision Hunter, 143 grain, 140 grain. 43 grain and this is your 129 grain uh american whitetail which even that's a that's a good group it's not perfect that's just a little bit over pied moa or one moa but regardless that right there i mean that's that's fantastic same thing with this one right here i i, I you, can you complain of a, a production factory rifle i don't think so so and even then today i'm sitting up there on my rifle scope i got sweat coming down my eyeballs my eyeballs are burning i got the mirage effect going on so yeah i'm making some excuses but at the end of the day about everything that could go wrong outside of my control is kind of doing it right now the wind there's no wind so i mean that's not affecting it whatsoever but overall that rifle is shooting lights out the barrel's getting warmer uh, it's getting hot and it's still shooting excellent groups if not tighter on these two compared to like what i did up here to start with so i I can't complain. Overall, that Tika T3X is an awesome rifle. Out in stormy weather, I might have the blues. Guys, we're back here at the end of our range day. I uh, shot the Tika T3X TAC A1, and it is a shooter. It shoots 7 MOA all day long. Uh, it is guaranteed for such, and it does it. It's obviously a heavy rifle being a chassis style, but the, the proof is in the pudding here, guys. I mean, we had Andrew and Alex both shoot. They just shot one round. That's all they wanted to really do, but both of them, they shot really well. The rifle shoots well in general. I mean, it shoots 
lights out. Uh, it, for the price range, you can get this rifle. This full setup I got with the scope, the badge ordnance mount, and uh, the rifle, I'm below $3,000. Uh, and on a rifle where you could shoot precision series type events or something like that with a, a chassis style rifle, it's hard to find anything in that price range, especially with such a quality scope. This European glass on this Optica 6 is awesome. It is so clear, it's bright. I've shot it, you know, twilight time, and it's good then also. So if I could recommend anything to you guys, I'd try one of these out. I'd pick one of them definitely over the Brugara BMP and your Remington, your Mossberg, your Savage, any of those that are similar price range that you can find, I'd go with the Tika. So I'm definitely a fan. It's made a believer out of me. It makes me want to try anything else in Tika also. So if you guys like what you saw today with our video, like it, subscribe to the channel, and follow along next time as we show you some awesome guns.